show you here. This is one. This is one of those um, snare support snare stabilizers. You hook the snare through here, and it goes in this hole and comes up here. Then you hook your whammy into this. But what I wanted to show you today is how uh, the duckbill retrievable. This one's muddy and dirty, but you see I've got a cable, eighth inch cable running from the the uh, duckbill retrievable anchor all the way up to where the snare is. So. It's only about this far on the ground at the most. And what we do, you, we have a stake driver that dry, sticks in here and drives this in the ground. So I say about this far. And then the snare hooks to this. And when an animal gets caught and pulls hard enough, this is what happens down here. When the animal pulls on the snare hard enough, this will spin sideways like that and cause it not to pull out of the ground. Now what we do when we get ready to pull these out of the ground, we have the loop up here that's hooked to the the anchor and I made this here <laughs> puller it's actually a fireplace poker and uh, it had the hook on and I saw that and I said man that'll work right so I put a little bend up top so I could have a good area to pull and what I do is I just hook the hook into that give it a yank and you see what happens at the bottom let me do that again for the camera. Just give it like a jerk and pull it straight up and then you pull it straight on out. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to demonstrate that for you down here on two of them that we have already set. Okay, we're at a set here that has one of those uh, snare stabilizers and anchors that uh, Dustin Drews I'll put a link in the description on the uh, bottom of this video here. Uh, th this is how it looks when it's set. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull these. We're going to pull these set. And these are uh, cam locks. So I just pull them down like that. You can if you want. Pull your whammy off. Then you can come back here and see how this snare is attached. You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, I just pull this, push the snare back through. Pull it out and then pull it over the top. Like this. And the snare is completely off. Okay, now I'm going to wrap this in about an 8 inch loop. And just keep shoving the tail back through. Till it makes a little loop. Just gonna lay that down there a minute. Now let me show you how this works. Do you remember I told you I had the eighth inch cable? There it is, okay? You see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take my puller, hook the hook in the in the loop. one of these and it gets the uh, it gets the anchor turned straight up and then you just pull it right out of the ground simple now if people are interested where do you get all those uh, the whammies and the duck bills and all that stuff <laughs> you from? can uh, get them at any trap and supply or snare shop uh, area or whatever you know I get a lot of my stuff at, at uh, Leggett's uh, Trapping Supply in Boonesboro, Maryland. I get a lot of stuff there. So I've got one more over here I'm going to go ahead and pull out quick. <laughs> if you want, you can leave the snare on there. 
You see here, here's the, just a jerk. And that pulls it up through. Once you get that turned. And this this one here has had a fox on it. Yeah, so. So you can see he had no, he couldn't pull it out, so. Yeah, we had fox, I've caught coyotes in here uh, on video. I've got them on video for you and they didn't even come close to getting uh, getting these pulled out of the ground. As far as any animal that we're setting these snares for, no way they're going to pull them out of the ground. And again, I like I say, I can't take credit for these here. I'll give all that to Mr. Dustin Drews. Um, he's out in the west somewhere and I'll put a link on his uh, on my channel here a link to his YouTube and if you just get on YouTube and look up Dustin Drews D-R-E-W-S you'll find him and you'll find out how to make these these are dynamite if you're trying to put in a, a quick set here in a grassy field like this and trails come up come over here and show them these trails Look, look these trails down through here um, and of course it, you might say well deer run that well that's why you put the breakaways and the deer stops on your snares and you put them low enough you know mostly what they end up doing is knocking the snare out of the way so the deer stops and the breakaways <laughs> 